in Basel Tomanini, Vice President of the Syrian American Medical Society. He joins us now uh, from uh, Washington, D.C. Uh, Basil, thank you very much uh, for, uh, for giving us your time this evening here on France 24. I'd like to start by asking you uh, about this 30-day uh, ceasefire that's been stopped in its tracks at the UN Security Council, uh, with UN members unable to agree on a draft resolution. What's your reaction? It's a very sad situation. You know, it is a humanitarian catastrophe, what's happening in, the, in Ghouta right now. There have been hundreds of airstrikes and rocket attacks and shelling. Uh, children are dying by the day. Yesterday, only 80 people died, including 30 children, including also many health care providers and civil defense workers. Um, it is, it's been ongoing for the last four days, uh, nonstop. More than 25 hospitals have been targeted and more than eight completely destroyed. Um, we need the immediate cessation of hostilities, specifically airstrikes and barrel bombs, to give the civilians an opportunity to uh, breathe again, recuperate, and go ahead. Thank you. Uh, as you mentioned, uh Several hospitals uh, have been targeted uh, in those, uh, those raids. Uh, but despite the danger, some medical facilities and hospitals are still managing to operate. Yes, those are emergency alternate hospitals uh, that have been planned ahead of time. And they are much smaller facilities that they don't have the equipment needed to operate um, complex surgeries and deal with the war trauma. Uh, many patients have nowhere to go right now, and they are dying because of uh, bleeding to death or infections. It is a very sad situation. As you know, uh, Gruta has been under siege for more than four years, and the siege has tightened for the last six months. So no medical supplies have been able to enter Gruta, no medications, and there is a lack of uh, food and fuel. So we are dealing with the malnutrition, to start with, and on top of that, we have those acute injuries from trauma. It is a very, very sad situation. I feel like the, uh, much of the international community is feeling uh, pretty helpless right now. What can the average person do? I think the average person should advocate for the complete cessation of hostilities. Uh, there are 400,000 civilians in Ghouta alone that are really have been under so much stress and hardship. Children have been in basements. So we need everybody to talk to their representatives, to their governments, uh, you know, demonstrate in the streets, try to donate some money to help those people. The prices are extremely high in Ghouta right now, it, it, averaging 10 times the average prices in Western Europe or the US. You have like a, a one liter of fuel, it's like $10. And people are extremely poor to start with. So we're trying to get them some help. Um, you know, they have some food that is smuggled through the regime uh, besiegement, but it's extremely ex expensive. So I think everybody should be able to advocate and, and try to help those children. It is very, very sad what's happening for the children inside Google. Indeed, it is very sad and an increasingly desperate uh, situation in Eastern Ghouta. Mr. Termanini, thank you very much for your time once again. That was Basil Termanini.